Okay, uh, before we go for call to order here, um, we're going to be having a, a very big open forum regarding some things uh, with Matt here, and this was going to be brought up around between 8 and 9, so this needs to be brought up, but I know we're, we're behind, but... But, um, so, um, let's start with John, uh, we can get there, go ahead. So I have to ask, given your recent antics, so to speak, online, how can you stick within the platform and yet call for it being okay to kill anybody who's a racist or what was the other? Oh, bigots, uh, yeah, sexist, Racist, ableist. bigots, second, sexist, etc. Uh, I mean, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to, one, I'm trying to combat what I see is, is a pretty toxic element in the party, which is uh, this, this racism, apologism, uh, basically like, uh, one, we got actual races. There, um, we, there's and plenty. There lies the issue, obviously. Yeah, and and so that that's a huge issue. But the other issue is how many people are complacent with it. And, and uh, when we talk about like free market, uh, you know, a, a free society, to to me that means it has to to be liberty for all. So I don't buy into the uh, freedom of association the way it's portrayed. I think freedom of association means that you're able to withdraw from from collectives you're able to take your consent away and go i'm not part of that group i'm an individual treat me as an individual uh so racism is inherently against that um you're putting somebody in a collective whether they want to be or not and you're going to base your interactions off this you're you're going to deny them you know uh free access to the market it's not really a free market anymore it's a it's a privileged market it's not for everybody uh, and there's a number of ways we could we could deal with that for sure, um, but to me it's got to get brought up. And and by me going to these extremes, I mean one, not not only am, am I you know passionate about anti-racism, uh, but also I'm kind of speaking to my what I view as my constituents. Well, what I view as as the side of the aisle that I've kind of tapped into that I think I have a real in with, that I, that I can bring them into the party, but it's going to take a lot for, for these ideas to be accepted. So what I do is I go to that extreme, it, it shifts that Overton window, and the moderate ones are now able to kind of say their views a little bit higher. And they don't get viewed as, you know, virtue signal, like they already know the extreme now, the moderate is able to kind of come up and and make sense of it all. Okay. Now, I have to ask, obviously, do you condone the actions with which you speak, though? Uh, I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I do kind of believe that. Like, if you're going to take rights, if you're going to take liberty from somebody else, uh, you don't really deserve that same respect back. Uh, I, I think, you know, I'm an individual. I'm not just going to go out and hunt down racists. Uh, and that's, you know that's what, what I mean? I'm asking, because essentially that's what it's taken as. It's, it's, Absolutely okay. Let's just say that there's a KKK rally to go in there and destroy everybody with a machine gun. I mean, like to me right now, the state, it's it's doing what we as a society should be doing. It's it's making the market free. It's giving more people liberty. And granted, it's got a whole lot of drawbacks, and that's what we don't like because we don't like those drawbacks. Right. So somehow, some way, and I don't think just you know boycotting it's going to be enough because that's not going to maintain the control that, that having a, a space of land does, a uh, space within the market does, and especially if that market's filled with people with these views, you're going to have a very restricted market for the minorities. So to me, there has to be more than just that boycott, there has to be some actual fear that you're not going to be accepted in society, you're going to have people that want, that want to hurt you because you are trying to hurt other people. So. You, to me, you don't really get those rights. You, you don't. You don't get Thank your property you. rights. You don't get your personal rights because you're trying to take that from others. Not above Matt's head. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh
<laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Any living flies uh, have been burned to a crisp, but uh, continue that. We had to pay extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> we had to pay extra for that. Um, so, I guess, and you know me, I, I am very open to any kind of school of thought. But I guess my biggest issue that I've taken with the things that have been set up as of late is that you're a call for violence, which is a drug violation of the NAP as far as I'm concerned. De defensive violence is all right. And I, I it's view not it defensive. As a defense. You are not combating an equal action. I think it is. Uh, because, one, their actions well. are hurting a whole demographic. How do words hurt? Well, again, it's not just words. You're restricting access. You're you're denying li liberty and equal treatment. It's so there right. have... and, and really, that's like is there to me that's such a like ah like it's not just words. Like right, people haven't been marching in streets over words. You know what I mean? Like oh, this, I understand. This I agree. People's lives. Believe me, I like, received racist comments myself. But at the end of the day, it doesn't beget violence. And I'm speaking as a minority. I've actually endured these things. It does not equal violence. I, I think it's individual. I think there's going to be individual cases, and I think some cases I don't see violence being out of the question. I, I think that there really needs to be a societal fair. And, and you know what? You know what is a thought crime is actual thoughts. That's why speech is action, preventing free flow is action. Like, keep your thoughts to yourself. And I prefer you to feel shame. I prefer you to be afraid. I prefer you to stay in your house and yell racist shit at your cats. You shouldn't be doing it in public. No, of course not. And that's why the public should be the ones condemning it. But violence is not the answer to that. That's my issue. Was there, was there a call to violence? I've, I've never said, the like, I'm going quote, to go out and kill people. Like You've never my, said that you weren't personally going to do it, but you did say... My, my arguments are always, if there's no state, and there's nobody helping these people have liberty, that then there shouldn't be a state protecting them from me either. And that's my point. Is that... Well, if we're going to be... Self-defense is self-defense is self-defense. And uh, calling for things is just speech. And that's right. obviously okay. The speech is okay. Any kind of speech is okay, but but actual violence is when when the line is crossed, the exactly. line of sand is crossed. Mm -hmm. Actual violence of, of attacking some preemptive war is the wrong thing. Defensive war of defending yourself or defending others. Correct. Is is uh so, well, I mean, let, let's face I, it, I too, like, right, I, right I now, stuff, so like, right now, know. we have That's a state, so, so in, in right. terms of today, uh, I mean, look at the systemic racism throughout our, our legal system, throughout our court system, throughout, you know, I mean, everything, it's, it's built into the system, and it's sustained by these ideas, by these thoughts, so it's not just thought crimes, I mean, people are getting hurt by these ideas, people are voting these ideas into office to have other people do it for them. You know what I mean? So they're not innocent, as far as I'm concerned. So, by your logic then, somebody who voted for, let's just say a sheriff, that person then deserves violence. You know, I mean, do they deserve it? Fuck yeah, they do, but I'm they not going to do it. They don't deserve it. <laughs> yes, they do. Fuck that. They're killing people, ruining people's lives, locking them in cages. They absolutely deserve it. Does the perpetrator the deserve votes, it? The person that votes for the sheriff? Does that's the what person that votes for the sheriff? That's what the Nazis deserve. Oh, 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 oh I thought you were talking about the sheriff. No, the sheriff yeah. obviously deserves well, a course of action. Well, we're talking about the indirect action that's that led to the election of the of the sheriff. I, I think they involved. do share some responsibility, idiots? but again, I think it's it's an individual case. Yeah. What? Should they be called idiots and assholes? Of course. Should they be made fun of? Killed? Should they be threatened? <laughs> Have they been killed? What are we talking about here? I has Matt killed, killed a person <laughs> or hurt somebody? He's no, talking about a call. As far as we know, he has. And, and you're right. I'm, I, I, you're right. I'm, I'm, it's that damn black mask well, he's got on. I can't I'm ever figure out if it's him or not. Going into a logical <laughs> fallacy, or I, I'm, I'm going down a slippery slope, so you're right. I'm sorry. 
But back to the uh, original point. Anybody else have anything that they would like to ask Matt? Well, the, I, uh, I, I do want to point out something here. Um, the, the, the point that Matt's trying to make here, I understand where he's, uh, where he's going with it. I don't necessarily agree with doing violence to a sheriff or to a government agent unless they're doing violence to me first. Okay, hey, when don't they? <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, but you know something? And, and my again, mom, my mom God, worked for the U.S. Here. government yeah, for yeah. many years. I've had guns pulled on me. They're okay. My mom me. worked for the U.S. government. She worked for the Department of Defense. Uh, does she deserve to get shot because, well, she supported the military, she supported, you know, um, the, uh, the government, the whole, you know, I mean, you know, at some point, where do we draw the line here? And that, and, I guess my entire... And, and that's the point the there. Here's the, here's the issue at right hand. Uh, at what point does uh, about three fucking trillion dollars? I understand we that. The fucking point. I I get that. I get that. Jesus Christ! The largest incarcerated population in human history. I can we say maybe? Hey, it's not a good fucking idea. It's not about well, Jesus we Christ. We are saying that. We are absolutely saying that. Saying that. We aren't saying that. So here's the fucking line. Which side of it are you on? Okay, it's, you're, it's I'm fucking line sick line. and tired of playing games with goddamn white nationalists and trying to convince fucking Trump voters to be good liberal. Hey, I didn't vote for Trump, so don't put me in that category here. Fucking assholes. Okay. But you understand why I'm begging you the question, do you not? Because it's fucking goofy. I don't think we can expect people or promote people thinking for themselves running with this kind of narrative though. If we're, if we're trying to control speech and say, well, we don't think people can think for themselves and decide that Matt's not an asshole, so let's just try and shut it down. <laughs> I'm perfectly right? fine with that. I'm not attempting to censure by any means. I'm just asking questions. I know. Well, uh, I, I did see a thing that somebody was trying to send. Somebody is trying to, yes. And yeah. Well, we're not. It's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I know. Mike, Mike wanted me to address it. And, and you know, it's, it's a controversy. I'm sure people got questions. So I'm, I'm and that's why, yeah, I, I'm sorry if I'm like, they're putting you on edge or yeah. anything. No, but. no, it's all good. Yeah. My bigger concern about any of that type of language is the one important aspect. And this gets lost because we're in such a pursuit of justice that if you... It's essentially if you give a mouse a cookie. If you allow even just one person to be, you know, taken to the streets and beaten, destroyed because they are, uh, they have been outed as a racist or anything like that, what is to say though that a an, a person who's not a racist can be accused of such in the same, same manner as the Salem witch trials? And slippery we say, slope. We're talking it's about a slippery slope. And we That's do right. say if it's okay for us to take the law into our own hands and to destroy someone's credibility or even their lives, then what's to say if we just do it to someone okay, we don't like? Okay, here's, the point, here's the point that Ben doesn't even think about and no one has ever thought about. At what point, you know, um, if let's say that we do use violence against the state, even though we can just categorically say that they've done violence to us. They do violence to us every day. That's true in so many different ways. Correct. All right. At what point do we become no different from the state? You become the state. And, that, become the and we can become the state. Issue. At what point? At what point? Because it's all human nature at some point. When you take away the judici judicial element and you are playing judge, jury, and ex executioner, at what point? Are we not any different? Twenty trillion dollars. That's the fucking <laughs> point. Well, the real, the real, the real aspect is. God I mean, damn it! If it ain't about money and fucking power. I'm not talking about power or money. I'm simply talking about human nature. If if you were to, to when you control an entire fucking civilization, and you decide who gets to live and die and what under what circumstances, you're the asshole. That's so, the point at which you are the bad guy. How to decide what happens to everyone? No. 
you understand my point then or no? No, I do. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not saying that you're wrong, and I'm not saying that the state hasn't perpetrated crimes against humanity by any means. My point is, at what point are we yes. simply... Thank you. ...being the state ourselves, essentially? When we have them by the throat. <clears throat> okay, so then we have them by the throat. Then what? Well, let's... I mean, hopefully oh, we thank make you. better decisions than what they did. I don't want power. I don't want to take things thank from you. people or hurt anyone. Nor do I. But Nor I do I. I'm to put a goddamn end to it, and I'm going to listen to the people that are getting shit on constantly by it. It's time to fucking stop pretending like we're some goddamn Christian conservative bullshit capitalist. <laughs> I'm not one of those things. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, John's none of those things. I have recovered from those things. <laughs> he has recovered from those things. I don't know about. That's how we are portrayed, though. And that's, that's why how we everyone don't have sees people us. Here. Yeah. Fake ass fucking that. conservatives. Sees who? Sees who? Who's off? This is the Libertarian Party in general. Well, there's, there's, the Republican party. Yeah, we're not going to break it. Make any waves until we start. Fucking millions of people are begging for help, and we're told, well, the economics, if you just try harder, fuck you. You work for yourself. <laughs> God damn, man. Work for yourself. Yes, do those things. But yeah, fuck yeah. anybody that gets in your way. Especially a bank. Especially a fucking politician. Jesus Christ, man. I'm sick of fucking apologizing for fucking assholes that don't want culture to change. Hey, I want culture to yeah, change. I, I realize I'm but... going to the extreme. Yeah, um, at the same time, I, I, I mean, I, I am an extreme person. I, I, I like... Here's the point that here's the point that Dave Smith said on the Joe Rogan show, okay? And he was mainly talking about the left. He's not a right-wing apologist. He's not um, a liberal by any chance. He's an anarcho-capitalist. He wants the state gone completely by any means necessary. The point he made was, you know, uh, people have, people, um, we, he said, we all have it so good for far so long that people, that, that the left, mainly the people, um, have been removed the fact that we all can just lose it. Right. And he's fucking right. Lose what? Oh. Lose what? Control? Lose our freedoms. And we and we're already down that shithole. We're already down that goddamn rabbit hole. But, <clears throat> so I mean, right now, there there is, and I, I think I told you guys before. There's that Libertarian Socialist Caucus of the DSA, right? And that I mean, that's really been my main target. And it's not just like uh, it's not just fake. I, I I learned these things throughout the period of. Like in Gary Johnson joining this affiliate and going through the Libertarian Party and everything. So I, I identify a lot with it. And I identify a lot with the people. And this is what they believe. You know what I mean? This is, so that's why I say part of it is just me trying to be their voice in the party. And by doing that, I'm hoping to bridge, bridge that gap. And, and like I said, I went to the DSA meeting uh, last Saturday. It was awesome. It was great. Um, it was it was an hour of business and an hour of workshop, and they split into like all their different little affiliate chair or committees, you know. And you go bounce to, to committee to committee and see what they're working on, you know, help out whatever. So I, I talked to the reform committee, and it was great. You know, I, I they don't have a libertarian socialist caucus in, in Detroit actually. So I, I I told him, you know, he was talking about caucuses. I was like, well, why don't we start a libertarian socialist caucus? Yeah, do it, you know. And they were actually excited to hear about the party from from me, anyways, in my version of, of the party. And I think that's important. And one of the reasons that I liked Gary Johnson was that he was that compromise candidate. There was a little bit for everybody, and he wasn't perfect by no means. And everybody had beef with him for one thing or another. Uh, but he was that that compromise. Um, after that. Uh, I felt kind of isolated in the party. It was very, very right heavy. And all of a sudden it's like, you know, any little bit of 
hey, maybe that was a little bit racist. Oh, you're left as blah, blah, you know what I mean? So it's like, I got pushed over that way, and I found these people, and I think that, I think it's a fit, and I think it's something that we need, at least on the local level, is these two different ideologies, these two different personality types, because there's a totally different personality between, you know, the typical right libertarian and a leftist in the DSA. Um, but th this is our community. This is who we gotta figure these things out with. If we ever want to self-govern, this is how we do it. We gotta bridge these ideas and we're not gonna agree and we're gonna find parts of each other's ideologies repulsive. Uh, but at the same point, look, look how we can get together here. Um, you know, we'll go through our agenda. We're gonna agree on like pretty much everything, especially on the local level politics. It's, it's hard to disagree. Uh, of course. On a personal level, just going, well, yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> you know. Of course, but like I said, my, my biggest issue is the call to violence without violence being called upon. That, that essentially says, I've been called a sand nigger. I could go kill that person by your logic. Yeah, they did it every day for I six mean, months and tortured you to shit. Maybe you might be justified in it to I mean, get a lesser sentence. That's the thing, is it? I mean, it, that's it, a different scenario. I, they I were, don't think everything's me, a different scenario. But they torture me, there and by, they have brought violence upon me. Therefore, I can defend myself. Words. Everything is subjective. No, you know, if, if, you call somebody, if you call somebody a sand nigger and get killed, I'm not feeling bad for you, dude. I don't like, feel bad for like, you. I'm yeah. not but feeling I'm, bad for you. So and, you know, maybe it was, it was out of hand. Uh, I'm just saying that, you know what, there's consequences to being an asshole in society, and, and you know what, the state, all these libertarians that want free from race, free, free roam racism, the state is what protects them from people right. that I'm representing that would definitely take it in their hands, and I can't, I, I got too much to lose to try to kill let's a racist. Back, let's bring uh, back the gentleman's duel. I mean, so right. <laughs> seriously, there, there needs to be, if we're going to have a stateless society, there needs to be a serious call against racism one that one that's more threatening than just we're not, we're not gonna fuck around with you and then black people got to carry around a separate map of the u.s so they know where to get gas you know what i mean like it just doesn't make sense but once again you're, you're hitting that slippery slope where you're saying okay so if one person is racist everybody's gonna be racist and all black people are segregated Oh, no, That's no. not true. We have a community. But you're going to have pockets. You know what I mean? You're, you're... Well, fuck those pockets. Those, those pockets. pockets then go into economic discourse and they don't have a fucking thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't though. Yeah, no. They, they turn people into property and then, you know what I mean? That's, that's the whole point of racism is that they're lesser <laughs> beings and you got a higher right and anybody, you know what I mean? That's the whole point is demoralizing, dehumanizing. Most major parties don't give a fuck about the average person in this we're country not, we're not the okay. Part. okay so okay. they and they it's they never lot. have no. and they never will does they anybody else have any you. questions they, or anything any statements well they have a fucking have? strange way of showing it then it's artificial business exactly all you can expect somebody to manipulate people that's what they do or do we want to uh so technically we're supposed to be starting our our meeting right now i uh um, but we want to take a short break before doing so. Well, why don't yeah, we? How, how about this? Why don't we take a fifteen-minute break or ten, ten minutes, minutes? Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Ten minutes is fine, and then we'll come back and we'll just address begin our normal business. Address our business. All right. It's a balloon. So, so right now, <laughs> welcome to the Libertarians of Macomb County group. Everybody, thank you for attending. Unfortunately, Mike uh, is not coming today. So, I'm taking. I'm assuming chair duties for the night. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Let's do a roll call. Um, I got everybody. We got 10 in attendance if we're not counting. What's your son's name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Junior. Yeah. Okay. Is he a member? Nope. No, okay. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Fred? Here. Here. Tim? Down here. John? Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dave, yeah, I'm 
Mike, mm-hmm. Nikki, and Kat, and Ben. And who might you be? No, I'm just kidding. Are you a dues paying member yet? <laughs> Are you a dues paying member yet? I don't think so. Then you can't vote. And, uh, yeah, and somehow he still owes us all fucking six thousand dollars. <laughs> you better make a good donation, kid. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and Matt. So, okay. Um, I looked at the agenda. The agenda looks good. Uh, I'm gonna make a motion to something like that. That's right. So, uh, I'm meeting between now and the <clears throat> Maybe 20th, 21st. I think I put it 20th or 21st. Uh, let's. Should we tentatively put it in as one of the two and by next Wednesday? We have to have a uh, defined date and time. Sounds good. Let, let's set it for Saturday. Okay. Um, that way, just in case something pops up and we go, oh, great. Absolutely. We'll move it a day. So. so we'll set it up for the 20th. Let's just say tentatively at 1. Does that yeah. sound good? Who, or who's all involved? Does that, does that work for everybody? Or? Uh, yeah. So, all right. So I would like to. Um, is that a motion? Where are we going to have it also? Let's oh, yeah. uh, just get it all hammered out. All at well, before we continue on that, I would like to join that meeting and discuss what we're going to do with our candidates and whatnot. Sure. For the upcoming year, so for this year, I mean. So where would be a good place? Do we want to go to a restaurant or just hang out at somebody's what? house, have yeah, some beer? We can always hang out at my house. It's, I know it's kind of far for some people, but no, if you don't mind, I mean, you're kind of a middle way between me and Todd. And... Right, that's what I kind of figure. I know I'm yeah. pretty close to Ben and Nikki, but yeah, if you don't mind. And Catherine just moved, so it's a little bit further for her. <laughs> How you liking Harrison Township, by the way? Oh, you're in Harrison now? Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. I can get it's a lot better. That's me there. Where do you work? Uh, downtown Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, just jump on 94. Oh, yeah. Take it the whole way down. As long as there's not an accident, you're pretty good. Well, right. there's always an accident. There's <laughs> always an accident. 696 is always an accident. Especially this time of year. <laughs> well, it's up to you. You want to do, if it's your place, early, or you want it to turn into a late night? Whiskey party. <laughs> <laughs> I would like it to turn into a like, whiskey party, but let's tentatively plan on early. Well, let's go ahead and nail down the date. Let me work on the time, and then I will. Uh, we can do a vote, and I believe by doing a vote via anything but in person. What does it require? Seventy-five percent. Yeah. Do you know Pretty much? I have a copy of the bylaws anyway. Yeah, I thought it was just majority, of, but you just have to do it by email. But if it's by email, then uh, majority rule doesn't work. You actually have to have. You know, Here's a copy of the bylaws here. <laughs> That's our local bylaws. I'm going by Robert's rules. Right. All Robert yeah, Robert's I rules. Tell you. I, I don't know Robert's rules well enough yet. Okay. <laughs> so I'm well, I have a copy of the book. Uh, at a no use. doing a uh, electronic. It's a quorum oh, with yeah, like 48 say, hours say, notice. Say yeah. Like, Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Nobody knows if that is offhand. I think it's just a I got the Robert Rules book out of my car. to go get it. There's one actually in that box. There's right there. one. <laughs> is that yours, Matt? <coughs> Robert Rules book? No, that's ours. Yeah. Oh, There's a simplified one and the, the big one. I saw the big one in there, yeah. I actually have the simplified one because I had to run it fast. Sir, <laughs> can I take care of that? Hmm? Let so me a box of Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm pretty sure electronic beanies. The qualifier is with the 48 hour notice. Right. That I remember. I just can't remember what the uh, actual number of. I think it was just majority. So we'll, I'll just put tentatively an electronic vote on Wednesday? Okay. By Wednesday. I'm sure by I'll Wednesday. be able to present it by like Friday or Saturday once I talk to Rose. But I just have to make sure. Talk to my neighbors too. If they're not doing anything, they want to know that. They actually love you guys. <laughs> Rose and uh, Danielle, Zach, yeah, they're cool. my neighbor's uh, fiance, were so worried that you guys all hated each other. And Zach's like, no, it was fun. I love debating people. He's like, I hope I didn't piss them off. I was like, no, not at all. You're fine. <laughs> right? 
No, he loved every second of it. He doesn't get that in real life, you know? Absentee. No, you did piss us off. Now it's time to, you know, get down to a bloody style. Right. Um... So cool. That's uh, that's. Um, that's that, that's um, uh, the candidate support meeting. All right, outreach committee, event organizing calendar. Does anybody like? I know last year Mike, they came out with. Uh, sorry, Todd. I was gonna say Mike wanted to bring this up as well. He brought it up in the LMC chat. And under new business, I'm going to ask if. We should make the LMC chat our official chat right, for, okay. huh? I, I'm sorry. I was just saying yes, we should, but it's not up to me, so go ahead. Um, we should schedule um, some kind of a uh, outreach committee on a particular day. Um, so everybody can get together and pile together their notes and whatnot um, and see what we can come up with. Um, any thoughts, suggestions, night remarks? No. Well, I think the big, big thing we really need to put together finally is our calendar, get events, yes. especially being at the beginning of the year. If we could, if we could give ourselves some goals. Yeah. Exactly. Like, we don't have to go to every event on the calendar, but having a calendar set up with major events going on around Metro Detroit, especially mm -hmm. events that we can probably pull like minded individuals, those are where we need to be setting up. Like, we need to be strategic, but we need to at least know oh. what's going on before we can even start oh, moving forward. And there's probably a lot of members, too, that we're missing out on that just don't like business meetings. Right. They just they just want to do stuff. They want to go out and get petitions right. signed and talk to people. You know what I mean? So well, absolutely, we could, we could have our second social meeting like we had tried before. I know Mike said uh, is it Mangans or Mangans, uh, oh, Irish yeah, yeah. Hut. Yeah, yeah. Is, 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 right. yeah, we we took a look at it and it looks like a not inside. It looks like a decent place. I don't know who yeah. went that night, but we yeah. could schedule that. The twenty seventh would be the fourth Saturday of this month. We, we could always For start combining our, it too. Where uh, our, our outreach that. our outreach committee meeting is followed by our social gathering. Okay. Yeah. If, if Unless, we do that. I, I'm so sorry for interrupting. I just realized my anniversary is the 25th, so those will probably walk. No, you're fine. 27. I'll just tell her no. Yeah. You do that. <laughs> does, yeah. <laughs> does Mike need a, a Saturday and Sunday for that one too? I'm sure for the social media. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what we could do is put on the website um, the, uh, the, the, um, those type of events that you have in mind, um, whether it's Can a, um, you know, like uh, in the Fed or something along the lines or a drug war rally or something uh, like, um, like the uh, DACA rally or right. something, you know. Because Trump is pushing for the border wall, he wants to get rid of that um, that uh, chains. Uh, what is it? That chains um, immigration thing where I don't know. Um, yeah, you get preference by um, relatives. Your immediate family gets higher preference over. So cousins get second preference, and second cousins get third preference. And they're all up in arms over it because they uh, they think that well, all illegals are here just to go on the welfare doll. I hear yeah, there's well, like two of them that came over, and they were bad dudes. They were bad dudes, oh and they're God. all centering it because of what happened <laughs> to two all. Americans, mm -hmm. which was Kate Steinle. And some other kid, I can't remember his name at the top of my head, but uh, you know what happened? Happened if, if that illegal immigrant did kill Kate Steinle, he should be serving time in prison just for the crime of murder itself. 
not just because he's here illegally and his ass needs to be shipped back to Mexico. Yeah, um, here, here's an idea. Um, are you free next weekend? Or this weekend coming up? What if, what if we did our political meeting that the, this weekend coming up and then do our uh, outreach committee and, and social gathering sat, that Saturday night? Okay. Let me, uh, I need at least a night or tomorrow to uh, yeah, yeah. make sure because I'm awful at remembering this shit. If, I, <laughs> if it's not down in my calendar, odds are it's not on roses. So. Yeah. Otherwise, because yeah, you're busy. Boy, yeah. 27, third, be our next. And that would still be two weeks out from our February meeting. Right. So, we'll be fine. do the outreach committee on February 3rd? You can do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, do we want to make a motion on that? Yes. Um, Actually, well, we didn't need a motion. I thought we Okay. Yeah, I'll make the motion. So yeah, we'll do, I'll make the motion. We do the uh, the outreach committee uh, on February 3rd and combine it with the social meeting following it. And Second. Second. Um, third. <laughs> please uh, be determined. Okay, please be determined. Probably, uh, what was the bar Mel Clemens again? Manigans. Manigans. And. Tentatively there, I guess. Any other comments before I close uh, this motion here? Anything else? Okay. Um, all in favor of adopting the, the, um, this motion as Matt stipulated, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Ayes have it. Okay, let's get into the reports here. Um, uh, no, because we amended the uh, the agenda. The agenda. I'm sorry. So you're right. Move on to uh, let's do state delegate delegates. Yeah. Counts. Delegate um, counts. So upon cursory glance of what Greg sent me, it looks like we have 13 delegates that we have to fill. Um, as of right now, I mean. We only have 10 in this room, plus yeah. Mike, that's 11. <clears throat> if Danny's in there too, that's 12, but who else? That's that's a four counting everybody in this room. But when, no, Tim doesn't count. So this is for March? Yeah, I'm, I'll, uh, be, uh, I'll be in Oakland County. Delegate. Right. This is a March convention? Yes. So we have next month to decide our delegates, but we need to make sure what? that we get this <coughs> thought. What are we doing with this convention? This convention is... Selecting delegates for national. Oh, yeah, for okay. One, and then there will also be our standard... Yeah, platform. platform. Yeah, yeah. So it's the 10th of March, which is before our March meeting. Correct. My so understanding... I'm sorry, well, March, March what? Right. March 10th. March yeah, 10th. my understanding is I don't think there's going to be an LPM convention this year unless... Okay. Oh, there is? We have two. Yep. Two. We'll have one in March and one... Uh, after primary, primary. Right. yeah, yeah, post primary, post primary. Because the national convention is going to be coming up in July, in, July. in right. New Orleans. When do we have to get that, that delegate count to? We state? want to have it ready by next <laughs> meeting at the latest. Meeting, like, I was hoping we'd be able to figure it out tonight, but looking upon our crowd, yeah. and yeah, we probably want to have you know some kind of warning. Give, yeah. yeah, we need Warm. to be able to send this out. They literally were supposed yeah. to send out this info to the chairs today, so I'm guessing Mike got it, but he's not here. Yeah. So and what? I would recommend right now at this point send out a um, I'll do an email a, and a Facebook an email, an email out to our members our many members yeah. like uh, uh, Danny and um, you know send it out to anybody who's ever been to a meeting like we need that's to what I do uh, yeah, yeah I mean yeah we I just, just I just saw Oakland send out the call to convention so that we'll have our convention in February so that we can select exactly select delegates. Yeah, so next month is going to be our <coughs> county <coughs> convention essentially. Right. Right. Yeah. That's is yeah. is yeah. Greg still coming to speak at I know he's been going around to speak at each of the oh. about See next before. that's gonna also suck fuck. What? It's on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh our next meeting? Uh, yeah. Oh, it is. Our our county convention? Really? Does this mean we're going to have our elections um, at the next? So either meeting? we move it up a week or we 
deal with being on Valentine's Day, which I'm sure is going to suck for a lot of us. Yeah. I so recommend. We're trying to call as many members. I, as possible. I recommend that we move it up a week. So move it to the third? Is it? Or no, the. Uh, so, is that a motion tab? Seventh. Yeah. I, uh, I moved to. Um, yeah, I moved that we move it up a week. Um, any seconds? I'll second it. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, any eyes? Aye. Aye. Nays? Eyes have it. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay. Um, because uh, now your resolution. My resolution. Adopted right. Adopted All right. Has anybody taken a look at the uh, copy of the resolution oh, yet? Huh? <laughs> too long to read. Too long to read. <laughs> too long to read. We can always amend it. Um, we can cut out some parts if you wish, but overall, I think everybody from what I'm gathering, people do like the resolution. The law is bullshit, so yeah, no, I agree with the resolution. I'll second that. All right. All in favor of adopting this resolution as it currently stands, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Oh, you abstain. We got one abstention. It passes anyways. No, I have abstained as well. I didn't have time to read it either. All right, well, record that as two abstentions. Um, all right, so let's get the reports. All right, membership director, Ben, <laughs> please. Nothing to report. Not really. Nothing to report, that's it? <laughs> that's a, so sorry, I keep forgetting that you can't say it. Doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> doesn't fucking matter. Are you serious? Now, are you oh, saying... Goddamn, okay, the Trumpsters are still voting for Trump, and um, we still don't have any fucking new members. <laughs> There's his report. Um, well, um, wait until November and then we're going to start seeing a bump in the uh, membership. Usually after the presidential election, membership begins to slow down, but that happens at the national level, at the state level, and at the local level. So. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> development director, Nikki. Um, I don't have a whole lot. I did create a Spreadshirt store that I added to our website that okay. people can visit. You can visit now. It's straight right on our website. Um, so as soon as I get PayPal confirmed, I'm there. We can start taking donations, and I'll... Um, Share that to Facebook and whatnot as soon as it's ready. But right now, you can go to the website and still see the store. Cool. Um, I spoke with Stephanie from Oakland about, I know we had talked about a spring event before. And um, I thought, what if we did a petition drive or something of that nature, like at a, um, we talked about a park or, I've even looked into, um, well, I think a park would be good that time of year. So. Anyway, that's about it. I've just been trying to organize a multi-affiliate meeting. and. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to be vocal. But... And you sent me a copy of the, that, uh, the template for the uh, newsletter. So, yeah, so I'll take a look at it in great detail. All right, so that brings us to you, John, our communications director. Communicate with us. Talk Please. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> What's going on, John? No, um, honestly, as far as communications go, not too much. Just a lot of people bitching about Matt. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> aside from that, honestly, not too much going on. I've uh, kind of been wanting to get together with you guys, get the new year kicked off right, so we uh, need to get this calendar together so that I know what events to start really trying to engage, because once we have a plan together, then I'm going to attack it entirely. So I'm uh, looking forward to our meeting for uh, getting the calendar all organized. I actually meant to ask you too, Nikki, can anybody in the party edit the calendar or does it have to be? Oh, yeah, it's just a Google calendar. I, okay. I think I have it so the public can't edit it, but I can make it so anyone <clears throat> on our mailing list or executive committee can do it. So. I'll, I can send you a link to... I'm, I'm wondering, it, it, do you have a copy of, say, Open Office? Because what you could do is make like a um, like a calendar, you know, sheet or something of the upcoming events and see if it's you know transferable and and it'll come out great on the website or something. I think our calendar looks nice. Google is pretty easy to integrate, so. Oh, okay. If somebody else wants to feel free. I mean, I'm. I it uses a lot of people have Gmail. So yeah. When you, you can click on it, it's like, oh, and it goes right in here. Yeah. Yeah. All your bullshit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you got a point there, too. So. Um, okay. So. Dave. <coughs> There's copies of this. If you want, anybody wants one? I would love one. Okay. So how much money do we have in the budget, Dave? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Not counting what we I tend to donate more to the party uh, by next month, Dave. Yeah. You'll see a bump there. When did we uh, officially begin our affiliation? March 26th at the LEC meeting. Yeah. Was it March what? 26th, I believe. March 26th. Oh, yeah. I made it yeah, and it's been, it's been almost a year. I made an initial deposit on the 23rd to start the opening account of stuff. Yeah. Michigan State and so Michigan. in March our dues will technically be up. Well, if you live in the county, you don't have to pay. Right? <laughs> you're right. No, you're right. But guys yeah, like, it's, it's like just, Tim, yeah, that's what they do. Right. Fools from outside, but everybody. But Tim looking. actually, you signed up what? No, I signed up last last month. Or, yeah, I guess it'll be the last meeting, which you paid last. And meeting. our due <laughs> system is tiered, so. Yeah. Chair report here. Well, uh, let's see here. I've been um, looking to um, write up some articles for uh, the newsletter. It's been very slow, um, but the holidays didn't help. And 
Um, so, anyway, um, but uh, here is the other thing that's been going on. Um, the uh, um, I've been trying to look into other people to speak at our meetings. Um, uh, I was hoping that maybe I could get somebody like, well, if, if I could try to talk to him to do it, but I was hoping maybe I could get like uh, comic Dave Smith to come here. He's not in Michigan, but it would be cool to help him out. Can you, can you try and get him for like, the convention or something like that? I, mean, I, like, might, I might be able to do it. It's, 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 it's very after the lunch and everything. It's very difficult yeah. to get someone to come for a meeting like this, but to come to a Michigan style convention, you have to know people. Yeah, that would probably be the ultimate goal. Yeah. Well, I follow him on Twitter, and I've talked to him. So. <laughs> Plus, he's a big, well, he's a big Tom Woods fan. So. Well, I mean, like, I've personally interacted with Jason Stapleton. So. Jason Stapleton? Yeah. So could could we get him here? Uh, could we get him to the convention or anything? Or well, anyway. Um, but uh, that's pretty much about it. Not much. Uh, we're going to be going to um, with the newsletter. Me and and Nikki and Cat will figure out something. We're thinking of going quarterly. So, hopefully that will get together and and we'll iron something out. So, um, chair report. Uh, Mike's not here, so I can't help with that. Um, Mike had a ton of great ideas on guest suggestions. Yeah. People that are from the area that, you know, is kind of about history of like, um, yeah, I, would, I would suggest asking Mike George who George Nori George Nori I, I do. any idea as to how to get in contact at all or not? No, Mike, um, what the hell was he saying? He ran into somewhere, there was some backstory. I don't know, you have to ask Mike. He had okay. some good ideas, though. I'm going to pressure, um, you told me that you tried to get Bob Butler to come to the meeting. Oh, I've always, I've always written that guy, like, come on, man, just come to the meeting. You know, you know, he's busy, he teaches. He's busy, he teaches. He's, busy, he's, teaches. he's a movie director. That's the guy's movie I did. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, that that sounds good. Those are some of the suggestions. Uh, any ideas for suggestions for, say, um, you know, just to come to our meeting to talk? Or I gave I up on y'all. If I had time to actually think about it, I'm sure I could come up with something awesome. But off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody either. So. But when I do, we could probably do a poll. Um, okay, so um, does anybody want to do like uh, an open floor or do you want to call for a German? Go ahead. So yeah, so when I left here, it was a lot more different. Um, I feel like there was a lot of things that had changed since April, and I would like to point that out. It was not as divisive and less hostile as well. From what I have seen online, it, this, this group became a laughing stock within the entire liberty movement, even getting not direct, but somewhat indirect um, mention on several podcasts as well. Um, 
I had heard it what on, podcast? Uh, on Tom Woods. <laughs> it was not a direct, but it was an indirect uh, reference Ooh. on there uh, in a negative format. It was... Macomb County? It was not by name, oh, but you could tell. It was, this, is, this is... And this is where I'm trying to point out. If you actually want to make a difference in the world, you can't alienate anyone. You can't force anyone in the in the predicament that has been going on for the last. Is that what you tell people when you're fucking pointing a gun at them? I have never pointed a gun at anyone. No. Well, I just want to point out that it's never been divisive in here. Uh, so this meeting well, is pretty much the same as well, when you the left thing, it. The thing I'd like to point out though is it's all about how everyone behaves online as well. The anonymity of the internet allows anyone to say anything without repercussion and because of that, and this goes back to what uh, you said earlier. Why should the repercussions be for speech okay. that hurts you though? Because that's all that this so ever is know. online is just speech. So what should the repercussions be? It's, it's, not, it's not about repercussions or anything. It's how, you just said it's there's how, no repercussions. It's all about how everyone acts. Well, okay. well, keep in mind that the, the typical, especially online, because that's what we're talking about, like, the typical libertarian crowd is extremely hostile to anything left liberal. They're immediately made fun of, shunned. You know what I mean? So, so this doesn't have to do with this and and even the policies. <laughs> the policies are alienating. So that's just politics to me. This isn't about ideology. This is about behavior. This has nothing to do with what you believe in. Behavior is ideological. Well, it gives you the right to decide what behavior is okay and what isn't. Because whatever there's, there's more some standards is in better. society. Is That's there? The, yeah. well, Super are we white trying ones. to change society? <laughs> $20 trillion dollars worth of standards. Or are we trying to go with the waves of society and we just like it? I mean, I guess since I don't listen to these podcasts, like what were, <laughs> not, I guess not by name, but what, was, what were they saying? It was just basically discussing about how, how detrimental to the entire movement it is. Like, oh, really? It's, it's, not Trump, Trump, it's not the fact that you're not going to... Well, Trump has nothing to do with <laughs> what happens here. Trump doesn't affect the Libertarian Party except yeah. for the fact that there's some... So what's our strategy going to be? Idiots that think... It's not, about, it's not just about strategy. It's just about how <laughs> we conduct everything. How everybody individually acts, acts in accordance with how everybody interacts acts elsewhere. In, what the hell are you talking I'm, about? To, to me, I, the party I, is about individualism, right? We're, we're about standing up for the, the minority. And what are the collective statements? I mean, the, 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 going back to uh, freedom ninjas are not real libertarians. I mean, <laughs> that was... I mean, <laughs> oh, because it turns out they weren't. <laughs> There, Holy how, shit! How can you make a collective statement like that when there's a whole spectrum of freedom ninjas that supported Austin Peterson, and now they and now they were forced to decide. In many cases, they were forced to decide whether they're going to stay. It's my time. fault that freedom ninjas are not real. Well, no, I'm trying. Let I'm, me I'm butt in. Here. I'm saying you keep talking about. Keep talking about I libertarian. call for adjournment. You keep talking about libertarianism being in for. For yeah. the, about the individual, but then you make collective second. statements like yeah, that. Yeah, second. The, the and idea, attack, and attack. The idea of the liberty movement isn't all about party and partisan attitudes. It is about the idea that individualism and freedom exists. It, you can have any type of ideology with right, you there's, choose to, but the thing is, there's 200 million people telling you it does not, not currently right. exist for them. You keep telling them they're not trying. We're not anymore. talking about that. They're right not now, acting in accordance about, enough. We're talking about how a, a group party for this county, Macomb County is the epicenter of American politics right now because it is what changed the entire state of Michigan from a solid blue state to a uh, Republican-led state in the first right. time in o almost 30 years. Okay. That is a okay. critical aspect of American Macomb, politics. Macomb County is this, the epicenter and we should be doing more with that yes. than and, and using this, this random, is what, like, no one knows about, I'm sorry, I've never, I'm in the liberty movement and I've never heard of these people. Like, this is not, like, the issues we should be focusing on. I don't care if, I don't We've know, saturated I don't the white nationalist movement. There's no more of them to get. There are millions and millions and millions of people out there that are crying for help. And we keep talking about how goddamn we're going to act in accordance and uh, I'm sick of it. Done. That what well, it's a it's but, a political party, right? So so what we're but, doing is we're trying to be the voice for people and, and here I am. I'm I'm speaking my views and yeah, they're radical, but that's who I am and I'm in this group and I'm in this county and I the, Okay I, I let me people that, that think like me. So 
So I don't I don't care if it's against the platform or ideology. This is this is my my views, and I have a right to hold them. But that's not what I'm and, saying. Uh, it's not <clears> nobody <throat> nobody disputes that you have the right to hold your views, and nobody yeah. in this particular group very has gone out of their way to yeah. to censure you. Right. No. And and I, I make that clear so, all the time. Like so the only reason I'm in the party is this. Group. Group. Then I don't want to hear any goddamn bitching about how he's stopped any of your efforts to gain new members. I'm not saying that by any means. But, but, but we're, no, you're talking about any. He's preventing new members from joining because it's not in accordance. And we need to try harder. What the actually, fuck are you talking actually, about, man? Actually, Where's your actually, goddamn members? Actually, I can respect his 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 stance of going and and reaching a an unreached audience that to liber to the libertarian ideas. I you know as much as I disagree with some of his platform, I don't really care about the platform. I don't mind that. It's the it's the it's the Fundamentals. approach. It's the pro. It's the inclusive approach as opposed to the divisive approach that I I take objection to. The I divisive am, I am approach. That, that, a the, the, dice, the divisive approach. Oh, they they sending me, out, me and want. him out when. It's not when, about kicking anyone out. It's not about being divisive or anything. All it is is saying if you really want the change to happen, you can't simply attack anyone you disagree with vehemently. You don't realize you, that you're preventing people from speaking at all. And you, you don't realize. No. Like you don't realize. Not, okay. Stop. I, I, I've gotten the person. Guys, I've one person makes a doxing. statement and 400 goddamn ninjas come out. Oh my god, my feelings were hurt. I know a veteran. Bullshit. You guys nonstop troll people. So amazingly yeah, disingenuous, it is there's sickening. There's no collective bullshit right there. Well, no collective bullshit. I can we speak we all myself, have individuals in that game. Yeah, well, when it happens and there's like 40 of them in every goddamn comment section of every goddamn discussion, maybe it's a fucking problem. Maybe it's a pain in the ass. What? Well, there's, there's, there's differences of the Austin world. Peterson, yay! It's not about his. It's, it's so hypocritical to talk about voluntary associations, though, and then you guys say that we have to act this way or that way. That's, I see, that's I exactly what I said. It, we should. Want it, want the I don't want to. I, I know how I want change to happen. It doesn't happen by being nice or killing people with kindness. Not always. A lot of people don't get it that way. Where did I say being nice? And like, all right, you guys only well, see your, your side here, right? Well, like, here's, my, the, my here's the deal. Okay. My side is vastly outnumbered, right? Vastly outnumbered. Every side is vastly outnumbered. I, I want to say that in, in the Libertarian Party, my views are vastly outnumbered, right? And and people who hold my views view the LP All right. and they wanted nothing to do with the word. Okay, they that's a. Call themselves well, let's, let's finish this out. No, no. This is what needs to so, be. This yeah. is what needs to be fleshed so, out. So now through through the. Well, what on my to... side is seeing as excitement. Uh, they're they're seeing, you know, you feathers go. being ruffled and they it's exciting to them and now Thank they're actually you. starting to call themselves libertarians, be it socialist, communist, whatever. They're call, they're using the word again. They're they're taking interest in me and what I'm doing and some of the policies that I'm advocating for, which you know, some of them are coming from the Bernie side and I'm pulling them down. I'm going, look look at these stateless solutions that we could be doing. You know what I mean? So <laughs> It's, it's bridging a gap, and I know it's not easy, and I know it, uh, at times I'm divisive and I attack people, but it's to gain that camaraderie that just isn't there, and I'm carving that space, and I'm doing it aggressively. I get that, but uh, that's politics to a, to a degree, you know? And it's a divisive time now. Yeah, and, and I mean, hopefully, and hopefully I mean, my, my real hope is that Come 2020, we've worked out all these kinks. We've got all these new members. We've been working together locally, hopefully. And that's where we build these relationships. And come 2020, I mean, can you imagine the Occupy for, with the Tea Party coming together on a candidate? That, that, that is the recipe for winning to I, me, I think. I think, I think, I think in like six or seven years in the past, those names have changed. <laughs> well, I get it. I get it. They've all splintered and they've gone different ways. So, so in 2001, I, I get it. People, they're they're exactly, exactly the same, same idea. Exactly. Yes, and people. they're called different and they're in different Well, ways. exactly. They, and, you know what? The, the people are still interested in <laughs> politics. You, I'm running away. You but know? would you accept that if you saw that the left was actually embracing the right because you you've said yourself that the party is already too heavy right and and it's almost well, like you it almost like you prefer to to not have them and, and have have the left-leaning libertarians instead 
Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love my ideology to be the dominant one. That'd be great, you know. And then if I chase some people away and, and it happens, kind of cool. But that's not really the goal. The, the, really, the goal is hopefully nobody else leaves. Hopefully, this competition keeps us going, keeps us interested. It's it's the off years. I mean, it's surprising people are even paying it's attention to us. Here now. It's it's now an active year. This and is, even, in fact, if anything, this should be. The Libertarian Party year. They say that uh, all they, the time, but this, no, is, this but is a then, but, but you want to know something? You want to know something? Let me butt in here for a second. Here, let me butt in here for a second. The Libertarian Party basically screwed up in 2016 with Gary Johnson and Bill Weld going on about you know with Bill Weld going on about how great Hillary Clinton was. And how great and how evil um, Trump was, and the reality is that both sides are just terrible. Okay, you know they should have been pumping themselves, trying to be the alternative. You know when I see somebody like Austin Peterson, because I I've, I've I've heard him explain why he rejects the nap. Okay, he talked to Dave Rubin on the Dave Rubin Show. You guys can see this on YouTube. I see his explanation for that. I don't agree with it, but I understand his position. You know, um, people, are, people are basically behaving, you know, and there is, a, there is a point to be made what you're saying, Mike. People are behaving um, um, very childishly and, um, and God forbid if I should have mentioned it, um, very immaturely about this whole thing, um, with regards to poly party politics. Party politics can be very divisive. It's happened to political parties for years. It happens in the Republican Party. Yeah. There's splintering in the Republican Party already. There are Republicans who can't stand Trump. And that's a good thing. They let, let them shatter themselves. But the main point of it was why... And how... And they're behaving just as badly as the Democrats are. Because the Democrats don't have the... You know, it's all about identity politics for the Democrats. It's also about identity politics for the Republicans. We can't make identity politics as if it's our saving grace, as if it's our savior. We can't go around labeling every single person as evil because of how they feel. People have a right to feel how they feel. And, you know, that's just the reality of it. You know. And it what, also comes down to it is how can how can anyone even most people in the country still don't know anything about the Libertarian Party or the idea of libertarianism in general. They may be libertarians, like Gary Johnson said. You could have a quarter to a third or even half of people may be secret libertarians. They have no idea though, because one, Libertarian Party does nothing good in advertising itself. It is the worst. If ironically, having a salesman as the its chairperson doesn't lead to a good sales position at all. And two. If they have a bad first impression, if they have someone screaming at them or if they have someone insulting them in the first place, that it's not about being nice, it's just about being presentable. I wouldn't care if somebody yelled at me, but if they don't speak out against racism, if they're basically just the same as either one of the old two parties, then I'm... Just Both sides are racist. This is why I, I found out about libertarianism when I was 19 as a former Democrat and I was politically homeless. I didn't join up then because I thought they were all a bunch of conservatives in the state. And I eventually went to Rand Paul and then wanted less and less and less government after that. And Rand Paul My first brought it out. My was a little bit different than what someone who grew up in a conservative household looked at. Because me and uh -huh. a lot of my old liberal friends, they're starting to come around to libertarianism now. Now that there's more communication and they can see the more left side of it and it's not just right leaning. I think, I feel like there are more people open to it now. So I think it's just a matter of perspective. In, in, in the 2016, they got three percent, and that was over twice what 
Twice three as times. much as it, three, three times, times three as times much as it's world. ever been. Mm -hmm. And it's, in the history it's of the party, movement, but it's not. It's not going. It's not real. I don't but, really ever think that it's going to be a a movement that's actually going to go in the country. But here, here it's a move. It's a movement with ideas. It's a. Yeah. It's a. This it's is a, It's ideas that we're working with. This is what I can and, tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. And and uh, the economic ideas of of the you know of the left don't work. And the racism of uh, of, of the right on either right. side. On either side, there's racism uh, everywhere. There's it's, that's it's what not, I just said a few minutes yeah, ago. No, now, 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 here's why I just want to point out, though. Don't focus on the ideology in this one aspect. All right, focus only on the ideas of stri uh, strategy, or you want to go the Bush route, strategery. Um, <laughs> got the reference? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. <clears throat> We look at 2016, we'll go in the presidential election just one more time. 3% out of when polling was going on, it was above 10%. The fact was, it was 13 at one point. There was the possibility of talking about him being in the in the debates and stuff like that. We're, you know, you're talking about a, it was the, it was along with the two main parties, it was the only one that was on the ticket in all 50 states, and it was um, two former governors who were moderates who, had the experience, who had the uh, at least some namesake, they should have easily broken five percent. They should have been close to meeting what uh, Perot got in '92. There's two reasons why they, and, that they screwed up. Well, I, I was going to get that. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, was, I just wanted to point out. But the aside from all of that, mm -hmm. the main factor that did happen not only was that it didn't benefit anyone in the presidential aspect. It didn't really benefit anyone across the across the country. What uh, the irony in the state of Michigan was that they were trying to um, Republicans were trying to get rid of street party ticket voting, and Democrats said that was unfair to African American voters for some weird reason, and uh, they were blaming racism on that too. Ironically, Republicans benefited most from the street party ticket voting in this state, but. There, even if street party would have benefited any libertarians, it didn't because there was no focus on down ballot things across the country. Because it, regardless, the presidential contest unfortunately was never going to win in the libertarians' favor, but it could have benefited down ballot situations. And that is the focus of this upcoming election and 2020 is to focus on down ballot situations. And frankly, I think it's literally a states form um, party movement now. It's there's no there is no more national libertarian party to really focus on. It is certain states that will see good results, but most other ones will not. That is unfortunate state of the liberty movement nowadays. It is so shattered and it's just so disorganized that. The only ones that have, are really going to succeed are the ones that have the best organized state parties. Right. And you'll see it in places like Washington, you'll see it in places like Tennessee, and you'll see it in, uh, with what Larry Sharp is doing in New York. All right. Ben made a motion to adjourn. Uh, um, you second it? Yes. I think, right? Second it. And um, any ayes? Aye. 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 Okay. Any nays? Okay. Meeting adjourned.